start with the rings. The rings are here again, with many bearing the brand of the annual flooding in the city. Now, while the mayor says people living in low-lying areas must always move from those places anytime it's about to rain politicians are playing the blame game with minority mps blaming the flats on the npp's refusal to continue with the county project aimed at constructing drains in accra what measures do you suggest must be taken to deal with the annual flooding in the city in accra is a lowland area so they should find a way of making this big gutters that big gutters cemented they know what happens that when they do this when they they they, they sell it and goes up there when it rains it goes back into the the gutters and so that becomes a problem if they'll be able to they sell it and then make like banks like cemented gutters if we cannot even cover it that one will help us when they see a big drain they should not just do it shorty work they should make sure the bridge is doing very well they will construct the bridge very well so that when the water is coming it can receive the bridge can receive the water so when they are doing the bridges at the gutters they should do it well once and for all we should not think about 10 years uh, 20 years we should think about 50 years this thing we do it once and for all we spend money on it by 50 years before we have another challenge means the cities are the cause of some of the floods and uh, we have to instill a very serious discipline in the citizens of Ghana, especially when it comes to the, uh, the plastic uh, things, because it's the cost. All right, so some comments from the streets. A lot of your comments are on Facebook. Let's check them out. Israel. Ernest Gade says, it's simple. Resource institutions to deliver on their mandate and let people also change their attitudes. Government's failure to resource institutions to deliver on their mandate is an attack on the citizenry. The big discussion on the myriad of issues confronting the country is the efficient and effective running of public services. Ghanaians must push for the effective and efficient running of public services. Anaman Resby says, how is the drainage system in Accra? There should be proper drainage system in the whole country. They uh, develop healthy public policies by not throwing rubbish anyhow. Create enabling environment by providing dustbins, stimulates communities' actions by education and sanctioning people who violate the policies. It should be a full project funded by the taxpayers' money instead of using the money for necessary projects. The lives of Ghanaians are important. James Abusanga says the best measures to deal with the flooding, the flood situation in Accra has always been an attitudinal change coupled with proper sanctions for indiscriminate dumping of refuse. E.D. Ali says, are we the one using v8 or are we the ones deceiving people with promise <laughs> we'd vote them uh, for that and pay them yet i now understand why you don't give a uh, teenager khaki <laughs> <laughs> and beer <laughs> and someone says residents living in flood prone areas must own a live jet as far as we continue littering and building indiscriminately it is not going to end Yabua Solomon says the city authorities should be answering this question, not we, the ordinary citizens, because they have the mandate to do so. And in Kata NS says the measure is to stay at home. It's safe for your life because no politician has ever been affected. <laughs> Very interesting comments there. Well, it's been a blow for Africans, especially Ghanaians, since the start of the ongoing World Cup tournament, with many describing the performance of Nigeria, Egypt and the likes as very poor. But today, Senegal made us proud, at least with the first win for Africa. How do you feel as an African? So we posted this on Facebook and to you, uh, you've, you've also commented a lot yep. on We'll try and get that. Baye Jeremiah says, I feel good. The Taranga Lions of Senegal may be proud, uh, as an Afri may be proud as an African, especially from the side of the coach who happens to be a black man. He proved to us beyond reasonable doubt that Africa is capable of managing its affairs. The boys are good. Osi Kenny Brakwami says, I feel disappointed, but Senegal managed to make my day. But still, I'm highly disappointed, especially in the three North African countries. It's a big blow for African football. African football corruption, uh, and we are harvesting it at the World Cup stage. Mm. Uh, world stage, sorry. Adin says, I think African countries who could not qualify should make donations to them. 
<laughs> uh, as a thank you and a source of motivation to urge them to fight harder. They are now the only hope of Africa, but these Nigerians deporting their citizens from all African countries wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> How can their 19 year old keeper celebrate the 17 year old son's <laughs> birthday? I can't think, Frank. <laughs> And Walanya Akwetia says, haven't I told you people that all hope is not lost yet? All eyes on Senegal never disappoint us. We see what an Epa says, you people denied us opportunity to watch, but you are here again asking us to comment on a match that we couldn't watch. <laughs> Any Senegal will make the black man proud. Let's show the match and, and, and stop those Indian... Okay, so next time, show the next match. time we should show the match. Okay, we will try and do so. But we've been, you know, finishing it with all the updates on radio. So, yeah, yeah sure. We're live doing commentary. Our best, you know. World class live commentary. I tell you, you won't get it anywhere. And uh, Abraham Smith says, don't feel happy because they will disgrace us in the quarterfinals. Oh, Abraham, be hopeful, smally. And A.U. Farouk Tamale says, now I feel totally African and can raise my head up. Ismael Halil says, my support is with the Senegalese national team. Go Senegal, go Africa. And Papa Bekan Wonji says, great, I must say, it's a ritual. Now that one nation will stand for Africa in the World Cup tournament. So, even though it's early days yet, well, yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, 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 but of course. <laughs> Sometimes you, you raise your hopes and you, you dash know. them just like that. I hope it doesn't happen with yes, the Yes, 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 but we, we love I them. mean, we are hopeful, we are hopeful at least. It's brought us some smiles. Yeah, you yeah, know. yeah. Right. So it's Tuesday, and uh, it is always said that women will do anything to win the hearts of their partners. I don't know about men, though, but at least I know theirs is more of material than making adjustments to their natural beings. Question then remains Will you change anything about your body to please your partner? <laughs> So I wouldn't do that just because I believe love is a spirit and we just don't love anyhow. And so if the person who is in love with me shouldn't just look at my deformity or something else just to let me go, you understand? He should just accept me the way I am. That is how I believe in love. He loves me for who I am. He saw me before he came for it. So why would I change myself to please him? No. If he's interested in me, he should be interested in my whole body, everything, yes, including everything. So I wouldn't change my body for anything. But when you are joined to a man or a woman, you have become one. So you see, it is not just uh, a custom to get connected to somebody, but it is meant to express the purpose of God. So to change your body to please your partner is against the law of nature. And I think that the purpose also God created the body is to express his glory. So if you want to change any part of your body to please a man or a human being, then it means that primarily you don't understand why God gives you that body. It's not necessary changing any part of my body because if a guy loves you or if, you, if a woman loves you, needless of you changing any part of your body to please he or her. So is you only change any part of your body to please your partner? I could get a haircut for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we're talking what about. What are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, your body, not a haircut. I mean, your natural, natural, the way God created what you. What could I possibly change about my body? Ah, uh, maybe. Enlargement. You would have to go to. Enlargement. It <laughs> I don't know. I'm just asking. <laughs> but I know the because enlargement tax. I mean, I'm, do you want me to put on weight? That's what I'm <laughs> But I'm not the one that's at the stage. But, 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 but if you ask me, Israel. What if, would you if, change? If, if, if. if for instance, if it's a hairdo and my partner doesn't like a particular hairdo, yeah. I can do a different one that he likes. Ah, but, but I said but, haircut. But, you but, said I no, should No, no, no. I'm saying that if you ask me to go to a bainful okay. so that I'll become a certain way, then that one day. You're not doing Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, by Jeremiah also says, <laughs> Imbano, I never do such a... Uh, an unthinkable thing in my life. Uh, why is that partner taking? Why is that partner taking tramadol? <laughs> <laughs> Such a demand will be an insult to God's creation. Uh, God did not attach any conditions to love. Abraham Smith says, 
ladies and the ungrateful lifestyle god has blessed you with natural shape but he won't artificial you if you are my woman and you do that i will break up with you no i know che- i know chairman ting and if he says i used to worry about my stretch marks and uh, was doing anything to get rid of them so my uh, bb could be happy but do funny thing but the funny thing is he's not even uh cost me sexy zebra Okay, mm. so probably, I mean, he's not bothered about your, okay. uh, your stretch marks. Quick question, someone says, yes, my ditch is... Uh. <laughs> I, don't know, I know what you're talking about. Let's we, go, let's we go. We don't know what you're talking It's my Ali says, why not? If only it won't have health complications. And Amy Presla says, uh, Patrick, is there anything to add for the Lord? <laughs> Maybe referring to somebody who spoke, who wrote something, <laughs> nothing, why? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so Abu Yusi says, love can change many things. As Kemi says, never in my life will I do such a thing. I would rather change negative anything within me to please God. Apu to nipasu ye And he says, masa, madakra. And Rahel says, definitely not. I will only do so to please myself. James Abusanga says, not at all. God might not be happy with me. Yes, and I've seen a lot of ladies maybe with dark complexion and they want to become fair because they are, you know, partners like fair things. Yeah. But when he came, didn't you see that you were like, before? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's okay. Let's-